eight on the nine, and then your king comes up, and that plays your queen. Will you leave these cards alone? You think you can show me something? Why don't you ask me what the flowers are for? All right, Mr. Bones. What are the flowers for? Well, this is kind of an anniversary, Gobble. Do you know we've been together just two years today? Two years too much. Flowers are for dead people. Is looter! How often did I tell you not to put a hat on the bed? Because it's bad luck? Oh, hats on the bed and spilling the salt and black cats and walking under ladders. You make your own bad luck. Yeah? Where's the coffee that I passed two hours ago? Right there by your side. It's been there all the time. Old. But yesterday it was too hot. Never mind what I said yesterday. One day it's so hot that you burn your mouth, and the next day it's so cold that you freeze it. I'll get some more. Well, Otto, my boy, how do you feel today? Oh, I feel fine, thank you. How do you feel, Gabo? Gabo would feel better if he wouldn't have to play Patterson this week. You wouldn't be playing Patterson, dear, if you called Petrick, the agent. He has better time for you. Yeah? Why should I call him? Let him call me. They should be glad to get an act like mine. They can't get Gabo's every day. Coffee was too hot. If I want anything done right, I gotta do it myself. How are you fixed for steady company? Otto, how often did I tell you not to be so fresh? Okay, Chief. How are you fixed for steady company? Otto, now that's enough. I'll put you away. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> I will now do the impossible. I will smoke a cigarette and drink water and at the same time use my voice.
clumsy fool. But you told me to... But I didn't tell you to drop the tray, did I? Go to your room. Do miss... And you were rotten, too. But of all the stupid, bungling idiots I've ever seen in my life, she is the worst. Somebody ought to knock that guy's block off. Yeah, I'd like to do it myself. How often did I tell you how and when to put the props on the stage? Are oh, you so stupid that you will never learn? But I did exactly as you, you told me. You did not. Don't say you did when you did not. But I did. You did not. Did I tell you to drop the tray? No. I won't stand for you talking back to me like this. Who the devil do you think you are anyway? Well, I will talk back to you. And I won't stand it any longer. Oh, you won't, huh? Well, let me tell you something. I'm the greatest living artist in my line in the whole world, and I'm not going to have my act spoiled by you. Your act. Your act. Always your act. Oh, you're a fool. You're so wrapped up in yourself that you're blind to anyone else. It's always you, you, Keep you. Keep quiet! I won't have you saying such things to me. Next time. It's my act. And when it's bad, they blame me for it. And you're the one that makes it bad with your banking. Oh, whenever the act goes wrong, I'm the one you always blame for it. Because you're always to blame. The gabbles are at it again, honey. Can you beat it? The poor dame stands for anything. She's always blown her off. Yeah, he blames her for everything. She seems like a nice dame, too. Oh, that guy's cuckoo. Well, he must be. We well, talks to that dummy like it was another person. Yeah, can you beat it? Talking to a dummy. Must be something wrong with his stomach. Stomach nothing. Something wrong with his skull. But that guy's got a screw loose short. Well, it's none of our business. I won't stand for it any longer. Oh, you won't? No, I won't. And if you weren't such a helpless fool, I'd leave you so quick it'd make your head swim. So? Well, let me tell you something. I don't care when you go, where you go, and the quicker, the better. Here's the door. Do you mean that? Yes, I mean that. Well, then I guess I'd better go. And if that's all the appreciation you have for someone who's always tried to do what was right, then you don't deserve consideration. Who asked you for consideration? I don't want anything from you. You. Where could you go? What could you do without me? 
I'm the act, not you. Everything depends on me. Well, I'm not depending on you any longer. I was getting along all right before I met you. And remember this, I can still sing and I can still dance. Go ahead, go on, nobody's stopping you. Why did you stay that long? Oh, I only stayed because I... Oh, I don't know why I stayed. Little Otto there is the only human thing about you. Oh, you think so? I don't think it, I know it. Oh, I've tried so hard to understand you, Gobble, but you're impossible. The only sweet things you have ever said to me have come from Otto. I'm quitting the act tonight. I might do better. I know I can't do any worse. <laughs> what would you do without me? Huh? Go, go on, get out. What do I care? All right, Gabo. If that's all the two years we've been together mean to you, why? I'm sorry. See, that guy's been beefing ever since he opened here. If you think he's, I'm tough to get along with, you ought to get a load of him. Well, you don't do so bad. Goodbye, Otto. I'm sorry to leave you, because you're the only thing about him that seems to have a soul. <laughs> Even though you are only made of wood. And if you're as great as you think you are, why aren't you playing the real theaters? Doing better things. You mind your own business. And go as you said you would. I'll show you. I'll show them all. Whether I'm the great Gabo or not. All right, Gabo. But remember this. To get along. To succeed. Forget yourself once in a while. Think of someone else. Give in sometime. And listen, we only take out of this life what we put into it. Goodbye. Don't you know that? <laughs> she thought I would coax her to stay. Looks like she's gone this time, for good. What do I care? Do I need her? No. Do I need anyone? 
No. She won't be far. She'll be back. Not this time, Gavo. I don't think so. You don't think so? Did I ask you? What do you know about it? Girl, quit the act. She left him flat. Well, who's that he's talking to now? The dummy again. He always does that. That guy is sure nuts. You are not going to let her worry you, are you? Worry me? <laughs> Nothing, Otto. Nothing in this world can worry me. Says you. Yes, says me, says me. Oh, shut up. You don't need a drink, Gavo. No, I didn't ask you, did I? You were too quick, Gavo. Too hasty with her. Too hasty? She spoiled my act. She's a fool. Oh, no. You are the fool, Gavo. That's enough, Otto. Do you want me to put you out, too? Louse fool. You must admit she was sweet. Yeah. She helped us, too. She combed my hair, painted my face, shined my shoes, and now she's gone. Oh, halt small, Esel. You will miss her, too. You need her. No, I need no one. She woke you in the morning, made your cafe, put you to bed, put cold cloths on your head when you were sick. A good girl, Gavo. Will you keep quiet? I guess you love her, Gavo. And maybe... Oh, baby, he'll climb up on her knee and put its arms around her. But how about me? Otto, if you don't keep quiet, I'll smash you. I'll destroy you so that you never make another sound. Do I want to listen to you? No. I need no one. What can she do without me? Me. Gabo. She'll be sorry when she sees my name in blazing lights. A great Gabo. The great gobble. It says here that Foley and Mandela are going to split, honey. Yeah. Well, I know another act that's going to split if we don't get some work soon. Yeah, you said it. By the time we get a date, we won't even remember the act. Well, you'll never get work laying on that bed all day, I can tell you that. Oh, will you stop? I'm doing the best I can. Yeah, and that's terrible. You don't try. Did you see in the variety where that guy Gabo is a hit in the Manhattan Review? Yeah, can you beat that? Well, it's not so long ago that we worked with him in Patterson. That was the act that split. Yeah, he got wise. He worked alone. I could do a great single myself. But that guy was cuckoo. Cuckoo? 
Well, I wish you'd get as cuckoo as he is. He's on Broadway. I'll save up for him. Oh, you've been handing me that line ever since Gabble got in a big show. Say, here. Well, I can't help it if they fall off. Gabble was a flop in Patterson. We was a hit. <laughs> yeah, in Patterson. But he's making good in New York. Try that on your piccolo. Yeah, and so would I. If I had a break like that. Didn't have a dame razzing me all day. Hey, try that on your elbow. You'll never get the first base. You gotta have class. Say, we got a chance. Now we're laying off. Let's go and see this guy gabble. You might learn something. All right, all right. I want to get a load of this gabble, just for fun. But don't think that he can learn me anything. Never mind. My men will attend to everything. here every night with that dummy, I think it's sort of a publicity stunt. The great gabble, eh? Well, he certainly gets plenty of service. But they tell me he's great. He is, but he's a little, uh, screwy. Why, he talks to that thing and he takes it seriously. Look at him. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, I think he's marvelous. Now, it's the squabs with the sherry wines. Oh, yes. I hope they are well cooked. I don't care for myself. But Mr. Garbo is very particular. Truffles are l'espagnol. Oh, yes, the truffles. The beautiful truffles. Isn't he the cutest thing? Uncanny the way he makes that dummy work. Almost sounds as though it were human. Yeah, he'd make a perfect husband. <laughs> Speaks only when you pull the string. Oh. <laughs> All husbands should be like that, darling. Oh. <laughs> well, there's our big star over there, showing off again. It's a wonder he wouldn't get wise to himself and do his act in the theater. But that's part of his contract. Personally, I think it's great publicity. Oh, that fellow loves to do it. He doesn't think much of himself. No, it's a mistake. But you don't understand him. Sometimes I actually pity him. You pity him? Oh, that's funny. There's a man completely satisfied with himself. Of all the egotistical fools I've ever seen, he is the worst. Oh, I know how you feel. But I know him a lot better than you do. You must admit he is great, even though he does say so himself. Oh, you're too much for me. Come on, are you ready? I'd like to sit here and finish my coffee, dear. You don't mind, do you? I don't go on until almost nine. No. Not this time. All right, dear. I'll trot over to the theater. Now, don't you waste any sympathy on that swell-headed nut gabble. Bye. Bye. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, yes. Everything is great. Thank you. Except the describe. Should have been shot years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. Everything else okay? Oh, yes. Only the truffles. A little like leather. And the caviar, let's not mention it. Outside of that, the dinner was good. But the cafe was terrible. Ooh, quite a crowd tonight. Yes, sir. And I think they all came to see you. I have a request for a song from a party over there. Would you oblige? Oh, 
anything for the ladies. Tell the leader I sing my lollipop song. Play the lollipop song. I've always been the gentle kind, kept my temper well. But there is something on my mind I simply have to tell. There may be certain ones who shout you're just a dumb half-wit. But my mind's made up about one thing, and this is it. Ooh, I'd rather soak on a lemon drop than to try my luck with a lollipop. Cause I always drop my lollipop, and it gets all over icky. Ooh, it makes me sick with the way it smears, how the stuff will stick in your hair and ears. With the lemon bean, I'm always clean, but the lollipop, ooh, icky. I've tried and tried, but never could find a lollipop that's even half very fine. So I'd rather suck on a lemon drop than to try my luck with a lollipop. Cause I always drop my lollipop and it gets all over icky. Thank you. Oh, I want to whisper to you. Would you tell the beautiful lady in the gray dress to come over and have some cafe and tell the orchestra to play I'm in love with you? <laughs> Glad to see you. Won't you have some cafe with us? No, thank you. I just finished my coffee. Gobble. Caviar and lobster, too. You know what the doctor said about that? Oh, you're such a child. He forgets, Mary. But you used to remind him. You used to do so much for me, too. No one ever combed my hair like you. No one. Yes, hope to miss you very much, Marie. We were both very, very happy when we met you in this show with us again. I think Otto would like to have you do these things for him again. Comb his hair, fix his tie. Wouldn't you, Otto? Yes, Mary, I would love it. Will you come to see me sometime again in my dressing room? Well, maybe I will. But I won't promise. It's getting late. I think you'd better go to the theater. Holy smoke. It is late. Come on, Mary. You come with us. We ride in our little Rolls Royce. We'd love to have you with us. We have everything now, Mary. Nice places to live and everything. I think I could fix it with Gabo. If you would come. Be careful. <laughs> Sorry. Would you come with us, Marie? I'd be glad to gobble. <laughs>
want to sing is the sweetest thing about a wedding ring. And you always ask me all the time all about a lot of wedding bells that chime. I will make you mine, then you can't pretend that I'm just a friend every now and then. Did you drive to the theater with him? Certainly. There's no harm in that, is there? No, but I don't like it. I don't want you to have anything to do with that swell-headed nut. 
kissing your hand, bowing down, clicking his heels, and all that imported baloney. <laughs> well, he's clever enough to be the star of the show. I'll say that much for him. Yeah, well, I don't care what he is. I don't want you to have anything to do with him. Don't be silly. He's all right. Yeah? Well, I don't think so. Well, did he send these two? Uh-huh. Oh, for the love of Mike. Gabble, gabble. You don't see me running around with other girls, do you? Mary, I tell you what's all wrong. Oh, Frank, you're all excited over nothing. He merely drove me over in his Rolls Royce. I thought it was very nice of him. Yeah, well, I don't. Perhaps not. But maybe I like Rolls Royces. He uh, asked me to go to supper with him tonight. Well, you're not going, are you? Oh, I don't know. I haven't given him an answer yet. Well, I'll give him his answer for you. And the answer is you're not going. Oh, don't be foolish. Don't get excited over nothing. Go to your dressing room and get ready for the next number. Well, tell me, are you going or not? I tell you, Frank, you'd better go and get ready or you'll be late. Well, you better not go with him, and that's all there is to it. Ta-da! It's all over, Icky. I suppose, Louis, you have a sweetheart? We all must have romance. Ich bitte um Entschuldigung, Herr Gabo, ich habe Sie nicht verstanden. Sie haben doch eine kleine Freundin, nicht wahr? Oh ja. Und sie ist ein sehr nettes Mädel. Merken Sie sich die Hauptsache, Louis, in einer Liebesangelegenheit. Sie müssen sehr lieb und sehr gut zu ihr sein. Immer. Jawohl, Herr Gabo. Jawohl. Aber ich habe sehr wenig Zeit für Sie. That's just it. Sie müssen sich hier Tag und Nacht widmen. That's what they want. I know how it is. Ich weiß, wie es ist. We only get out of life what we put into it. Bitte? Das Leben gibt uns nur, was wir dem Leben geben. Verstehen Sie? Ich verstehe, Herr Gabo. Jawohl. Wissen Sie, Louis? Hier. Nehmen Sie diese paar Dollar und gehen Sie mit Ihrer Freundin heute Abend irgendwo hin. Und sind Sie lieb und nett zu ihr. Und da halten Sie sich gut. Ich danke, Herr Garbo. You'll have to hurry, Mr. Garbo. You're on next. And you're just playing your music. I don't care. I'm not ready yet. I'll come there as soon as I can. Tell them to play it over and over and over again. It's all your fault. I'm supposed to be on the stage and just still fumbling around with the shoes. Whoever told you you were a dresser? Yes. Keep. Getting sick and tired of it. No, I don't want to put it on. I don't want to ever see you again. Get out! Oh, Louis. Where are you going? I'm going home, madame. Mr. Gabo is too much for me to handle. Oh, please don't go, Louis. I know that he's awfully hard to understand, but be a little patient with him. You know, he's very nervous. Yes, he's fine when he thinks he's Otto. Oh, yes, I know. But don't go, please. Well, I will stay, madame. Oh, thank you, Louis. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, I have the privilege to appear before you in what I might call, with all due modesty, the greatest ventriloquial exhibition of all times. I've had the great honor to appear before all crowned heads of Europe by royal command. May I present to you Otto, the famous Otto, my other half. Half? How you get like this? Three quarters, you mean. Otto, I think you're entirely too modest. Well, I'm right. I'm the act, not you. Everything depends on me. Say, by the way, Otto, <coughs> why were you late today? I went to the dentist. Oh. Does the tooth still hurt? I don't know. He didn't give it back to me. Ha, ha, ha. How comical. Uh, how is your little uh, baby brother, Otto? Oh, he makes me so mad. He cries and cries and cries. You know, Otto, I think that child is absolutely spoiled. Oh, no. They all smell that way. Otto, little boys should be seen, but not heard. You better keep quiet. I will if you let me. A song written for me is special. I get by as long as I have you. Ooh, what a wise crack. Otto, what nationality are you? My nationality? Oh, we have a fine family tree. My mother, she come from Cedarhurst. My father was a Pole. And I'm a chip from the old block. Marvelous. Should make screams of laughter. Oh, what have you? Is that your husband or your boyfriend? <laughs> Otto, how often did I tell you not to be so fresh? Now, don't let that happen again. He blames me for everything he blames me. Just for that now, you can't sit any longer around my knee. You understand? Suits me all right. I have sit on much better knee. Are you wise to that? Now, all I want out of you is silence. And very little of that. Oh, yeah? If I keep quiet, we both starve to death. Put that in your smoke and pipe it. You keep quiet, and I won't tell you again about it. So it's me. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, oh, Last year he used to swallow a tablecloth. Hello, kid. How well are you fixed for steady company? <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. If I were you, I'd keep quiet. All right. Shut up. What's that? You said if you were me, you'd keep quiet. So shut up. You are me. Ooh, the kid's clever. <laughs>
Where do I come in? I could hide some hot dogs without any trouble. You said I was you. So I'm eating enough for both of us. Well then, I hope I have a pain in your stomach. <laughs> What are you doing in his dressing room? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. I was just passing by and everything looked so upset I thought I'd straighten things up a little. What for? Why should you bother about him? What's the big idea, Mary? Oh, nothing. You wouldn't understand anyway. Oh, wouldn't I? I guess you think I'm a boo. I suppose you're going to tell me that you're still sorry for him. I don't believe I'll tell you anything at all. Now, well, I'll tell him something if he doesn't stay away from you. Oh, don't say anything, please. On stage, for I am in love with you, number. On stage, please. You ought to let the great gabble do that, number. Oh, don't be silly.
Well, I like that. I like it pretty well myself. Oh, yeah? Nicely, everything is arranged. You know who did it, don't you? She did it. You remember, Otto? How she used to arrange things for us? And now she's doing it again. Look! Not 
too hot and not too cold. Just right. She was always right. Maybe she is coming back with us again. Maybe. <laughs> I am positive of it. You know, Otto, she wanted to show me that she could do something without me. But now she wants to come back. You remember? I always said they all come back. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'm laughing. Yes, Otto. Now we can laugh. Everything is going to be beautiful. Oh, well, now you know how I feel about it, anyway. I wish you'd try and control yourself. And another thing. He never stood in the wings before, and he never helped you down. You must have given him plenty of encouragement. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, I'm not ridiculous. Everyone in the company sees how you're acting. Do you think I care if everyone sees me? What difference does it make? I'm not doing any harm. I know, but it looks bad. What looks bad? Does it look bad if I talk to the star of the show? There isn't one of them in the company that wouldn't be glad if he'd even look at them. Besides, there's a sweet side to him that none of them understand. Hmm, and you do. Yes, I do. Now I'll tell one. Otto, did you hear that? They're already quarreling over me. Of course. Why would she want to stick with him when she has a chance to come back with Gabo? You'll see. We'll all be together again. Oh. We are sitting on top of the world. Yes, Otto. We are sitting on top of the world. Nice and slow, now get busy, heel and toe. 
Gobble. Yeah. Wie geht's? Listen, Philip. I want you to fix a little supper for three after the show. Yeah. No, not downstairs, in one of the little private rooms upstairs. Uh-huh. There will be uh, myself and uh, Otto and uh, a lady. Uh-huh. Yeah, the same one you saw at dinner. Uh-huh. Listen, Philip. Uh, I want beautiful flowers and uh, candles. She loves that. Uh-huh. And I want you to arrange the souper personally. Understand? Everything must be the very best. Yeah. Well, uh, oh, I'd say hors d'oeuvre, some caviar. Not for me, uh, but she likes it. You know, Otto, she remembered that caviar and lobster does not agree with me. Uh, and Philip, a boneless squab cooked in, in coconut. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. And uh, hearts of palm tree salad uh, a la vinaigrette. Yeah. And listen, Philip, a bottle of Veuve Clicquot, extra dry, very cold. Yeah. I leave it all to you, Philip. Oh, about, uh, I'd say, a quarter of twelve. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Auf Wiedersehen.
settle this thing right now and save a lot of trouble. Don't be silly. Nobody in this show knows about it.
you are. Your little nose was all scratched. I think you've been neglected. You are the sweetest girl that I know. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find the flowers in the dressing room? Oh, Gobble, they were beautiful. Marie, why don't you ask me what the flowers are for? All right, Mr. Bones. What are the flowers for? Sort of an anniversary. It's just two years today that you've left us. And it's two years too long. You know, it looks quite natural to find you in here, combing all those hair, Fixing him up so nice. His little nose was all scratched and his hair was all mussed. He looked kind of lonesome. Yes. But he doesn't know how it feels to be lonesome. I know how it feels to be alone and lonesome. That doesn't sound at all like you, Gabo. I know it doesn't. But things are different now. Things have changed. I've changed too. We all make mistakes. The Lord knows I've made mine. But I realized it. I never knew how much you meant to us until you had gone away. Marie, we missed you very much. You miss us, too. I missed Otto. Only Otto? Didn't you miss anybody else? I know you missed Otto, because he... <laughs> he always said nice things to you. Yes. Otto was always sweet. Marie. Two years ago, that night when you left us, you said to me, we only get out of life what we put into it. No one knows that nor, now more than I do. I know I was selfish, but I was anxious to get to the top and I did. Now, I am the great Gabo. I have my success. Uh-oh. Better not good. <laughs> oh, that's all foolishness. Knocking wood and going on the ladders and, and black cats crossing. We make our own bad luck. <laughs> yes. I have my success. But what good is success if we can't share it with someone you care for, and that's what I want to do. Marie, I have arranged a little supper party after the show over at Phillips. Just myself and you and Otto. I want to tell you all the things that have been on my mind since that night when you left. I'm afraid I can't go, Gabo. I have other plans. But don't you think I've made plans, too? Big plans. Plans for the future. Plans for both of us. It will be the great Gabo and, and you. But that's impossible, Gabo. You can't make any plans concerning me. Oh, I should have told you before.
Who? That boy? <laughs> he means nothing, Marie. Oh, yes, he does. <laughs> no, not to me. He means everything to me. We're married. Married? Yes. You're not! Oh, well, I am. I said he means everything to me. And I mean everything. He loves me. And I love him. That's all there is to it. Oh, Gabo, I'm sorry. It's time for the finale. You'd better hurry or you'll be late. Don't hurt your little nose again, Otto. I love you. I always have. And I think I always will. Otto, did you hear what she said? She is married. She loves him. He means everything to her. She said, I'm sorry, Gabo. Sorry for me? Sorry for Gabo? I told him. What did he say? Well, there was very little to be said. I told him we were married. And that I love you. And I do. The reason I didn't tell him before is because... two years ago we were... I know all about that, honey. Oh, you do? Mm-hmm. And that's why I thought it was... I wanted him to know we're married. I thought it was best that way, don't you, honey? Oh, it was the only thing to do. You know, Frank, I don't think I knew my own mind. And I think it's only fair that I tell you that I married you to get away from him. Oh, I'm sorry if that hurt you. But I didn't know whether I loved you or not. But I do now. Honest, I do. And what has happened made me realize it more than ever. I haven't been very sweet to you tonight. But if you'll forget about it and forgive me, you'll never be sorry. Honest, you won't. What do you say, huh? I say you're all right, honey. And if you don't stop this, you'll have me so choked up, I won't be able to sing. <laughs> On stage for the finale. Uh, beat it, beat, beat it, honey, or I'll be doing a mammy song. <laughs> Finale without me, can they? No, let them wait. Let them play it over and over and over again. The public can wait. I don't care. They must wait for the great gobble. On stage for the finale. On stage for the finale. On stage for the finale. Go on, go ahead with your finale. What do I care? She loves him. She
She didn't even say goodbye to me. Only to you. You stupid wooden dummy. Oh, I'm sorry, Otto. I'm so sorry. Quickly now, move on. 
I think the man's crazy. Well, I think I could play if I go in. There. You'll do nothing of the kind. Please go to your dressing rooms. I just saw him pass the dressing room, and he's completely gone. Well, do you think you can really help him? Oh, I think I can. All right, honey, go speak to him and see what you can do. Oh, gee, you're sweet. Take care of him, Louis. Don't leave him alone. Yes, madam, I'll take care of him. Don't worry. Well, there you are. That's the great gobble for you. Grab the entire finale. You ever see anyone act as loony as that guy? Yeah, there certainly was something wrong. Something wrong? I'll say there was something wrong. And you thought he could learn me something. I told you that guy was goofy long ago. But Broadway was too much for him. He got the swell head and it exploded. Yeah, well, he's got one thing to be thankful for. All he's got for a partner is a dummy. Yeah, me and him both. <laughs> Ow! Well, I love that stuff, will you? Well, don't you call me no dummy. Or you'll get a chance to do that single you've been talking so much about. <laughs> 